welcome back fluid family to my channel if you are new here go ahead and hit subscribe if you are returning thank you for joining me for another fluid acrylic paint pouring video today i'm going to be doing the open cup technique and i'm going to be doing it on a 10 by 20 inch canvas gallery wrapped canvas these are my colors i will list all of the colors down in the description but I mixed up a big batch of the Pale Olive by Windsor & Newton. And then this is like a custom color. I honestly don't know what uh, metallic color is in here. It looks a little bit um, goldish or greenish. And then I have some Iridescent Precious Gold. Low draw. Here I have Amsterdam Titanium White. This is Liquitex Basics um, Unbleached Titanium. And I did mix a metallic in here. I really don't remember what it is. Sorry. This I do know this is Burnt Amber by both Liquitex Basics and Windsor and & Newton. So I'm gonna go ahead and I, if you haven't guessed, this is going to be my base color. So I'm going to layer down this color here and then I'm going to do the open cup and kind of like flow it down the center like I did before okay I just realized that I did not have a cup for my open cup <laughs> so this in here and then maybe place it here and then just swirl it down like that put it down my base color and I am going to spread this out not a ton but some and I have more of the base color if I want to you know, do it over. It's just paint, right? Oh, I'm sorry. You guys can't see that. I'm just stretching out. Oh, and that's my cake spinner. <laughs> I can't move the canvas much now, but I'll list where I purchased the cake spinner from in the description. I'm going to pop some air bubbles here. It's a lot of paint under there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push this on down. Like so, ooh, that looks cool. No, no real reaction. No cell reaction. Like I would have liked. Something starting to happen there. These colors are so beautiful together. Let's see if I stretch it out. It's uh, not much going on. Let's just stretch that. It's a lot of paint on here, like. It, it's a lot of paint. Um, 
trying to think about what I want to do next. <laughs> I didn't get much reaction. And there's a lot of paint on here, so I can't let it sit for too long. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to tilt it out. I mean, stretch it out. Sorry, you guys couldn't even see that one. Stretch it out over the side there. Yeah, see, it's a lot of paint on the canvas. See what I mean by just letting the paint drip all the way over the side? You see how it's completely covered there? Now I can just spin this around. Benefits of a case spinner. Now I can just spin that around. Right? So you guys can see it when I stretch it to that corner. So this did not turn out how I was hoping. Definitely not the vision I had in mind. <laughs> See, I still didn't get that corner, but I think it's okay. I think I got most of the paint off the canvas. Okay. Yeah, I don't like a lot of paint on my canvas. See, now this I'm going to have to um, get off of there, but I'll, once I move it, I'm not going to worry about it now because this isn't where it's going to dry. This isn't my drying station. My drying station is across the room. Okay. Yeah. This didn't at all come out how I'd hoped. actually kind of like it. Here it is, close up, and it's going to be very shiny for sure, but a lot of the color got lost. Um, and I don't necessarily know why, but hey, it's just paint, and I actually like this. I like how the colors are very muted, and it looks very abstract. So this will really stand out on a soft wall um, with any color that's in there. But thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so that you're notified every time that I upload a video here on this channel and stay creative.